All right, everybody, welcome back to Well That Sucks, brought to you by our sponsors that don't suck. The like button, which is right down there, check it out. And once again, qcathletics.com for quality content, my clothing line, because starting this Saturday, we got a new hat for sale. I'm wearing it, and it works out perfectly because I really need a haircut. So feel free to check it out. Link in the description. Again, it's up on Saturday, so if you're watching this when it first goes live, it's not available yet, but bringing that hype around so that when it does drop later this week, you're in the know. Let's start off with number... 20 because number 19 is sad and breaking news local idiot spills spaghetti on her bed i still to this day remember the sheer terror of spilling a bowl of cereal on my bed when i was younger because what do you do it's just it's just the end of the world at that point basically because what the mattress it just seeps in the liquid the milk it's never going to get out. You're just going to be on a milky mattress for the rest of eternity. And then mildew is probably going to grow on the inside. And you just know it's festering in there. But there's nothing you can do. Mattresses are expensive. You're not going to get a new one because you spilled some cereal or some spaghetti. But you have to live knowing that you did that. Of all the places to spill, it's just truly the worst one. When the tiger shark you're photographing swims off with your camera rig, you know, if animals wanted to troll us more they, they really could anytime they see a nature photographer they could just be like your camera belongs to me now i'm gonna i'll be taking that with me it's like animals could just do a do a hold up do a stick up on anybody trying to photograph them if they really wanted to and this this shark has figured that out that looks like a very expensive camera rig i'm not gonna lie like what do you have freaking lights popping off the side of that thing and then some gigantic camera with the waterproof housing in the middle. He's like, nah, that's mine now. You come into my territory. All your camera are belong to me. I was going to split these between my kids. What kind of... That's the tiniest package of M&Ms I've ever seen in my life. They can barely fit the logo on it. You can see from the outside, it literally looks like there are two M&Ms in that package. I'm sorry, that's upsetting because that's just a real waste of packaging. Oh, there's just one. All right, look, I know we're trying to get some health initiatives out there, get people eating less sugar, exercising more, but this is ridiculous, okay? If I'm gonna eat candy, I'm gonna eat candy. Don't give me one. Individually wrapped M&Ms? Okay, this is reserved exclusively for hard candy that takes a long time to go through. Also, so much more packaging than the wrapping around a hard candy. Paid extra for this window seat. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like a window seat. I appreciate the fact that we can sense your disappointment behind the mask. So that's, that's nice. Also very effective looking mask. That's like maximum face coverage right there. I'm honestly, very thankful that I haven't had to do any traveling recently because I'm just, I'm terrified of getting in a metal tube with that many other people with recirculating air. The interesting thing is I haven't read too many articles stating that a major source of the crown seems to be getting uh, people getting on airplanes, which is counterintuitive. But that said, I'd, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. So I'm sorry that you couldn't get that small little bit of hope. I understand that packages get abused a lot more in the distribution centers, but seriously, a tale of two deliveries. First USPS, second is FedEx. Let's see a, a hoop. Oh, that's nice. Oh, the first one, they're saying, oh, that's nice. USPS did it nice. On the other hand, we're about to see Alley Oop. Whoop. That's mild compared to what some people get on their packages. My favorite is that sometimes people will drop a package off at my door and they get all the way up, they go down the stairs, they go right to the door, and then it's just that last little bit, they're like, no, I'm gonna let it go now. And I'm just thinking, you were you were so close to just setting it down gently, but yeah, but you just, you couldn't finish strong. You had to just abandon it before you got to the finish line. All right, you almost had it. It was looking so promising. And then you just, you got, you got right there and you're like, nah, mm -mm, it's not happening. Gotta let this one go. After losing a third of my weight, I didn't feel too fat anymore. The toilet disagreed. Huh. 
I mean, it broke along what looks to be a, a glued seam. You don't too often see wooden toilet seats. My step-grandparents have it at their very rustic looking condo up in like kind of a woody area at a ski resort. But other than that, I feel like maybe this is a reason why it's like a solid singular piece of porcelain or plastic for the toilet seat. Cause you're never gonna get that, right? You're never gonna get that. I don't think anyone's ever cracked a toilet bowl, have they? Oh God, imagine how much that would suck. Canceled our honeymoon due to the crown after the wedding decided to go on a last minute mini honeymoon. The first night we saw a plump little guy waddling across the sheets. Of course, he's a bed bug. Never heard of a bed bug described as a plump little guy. Uh, did all we could not to bring them home. We were unsuccessful. Blech. Is that, is that, oh God, is that your blood? Because it's like sucked it out. Ugh, I've never had to deal with bed bugs. The closest I've got is that an adjacent unit of mine back in the first apartment I lived at during school, they got bed bugs and I was so scared. I was so scared that it was gonna come over to my house. And I just did everything I could to like not interact with them, stay as far as I could away from them. It's like, please, whatever you do, please don't give me these bed bugs, bro. I can't have this. I've heard it's nightmarish and it's, it's one of the worst pests that you can have to deal with. But look at that plump little guy waddling right there. <laughs> Ugh. This cocktail was very expensive. Oh, is it? It's just basically solid ice. It's a really cool ice cube, though. I'm not gonna lie. I'd be deceived by it too. I'd be like, you know, I I'd be too enthralled with the fact that they made such a gigantic clear ice rectangular prism that I suppose I wouldn't even be bothered by the fact that they used it in order to make it so that they hardly had to give me any sort of drink whatsoever. At the same time though, isn't a cocktail like, it's technically three ounces, I think. It's like three to four ounces, depending upon how generous it is wherever you're going. So that's probably, it's probably around three ounces. I don't know, it just, they gotta make it fill up the glass somehow. It'd look really underwhelming if they give it to you in this big glass and it's like down at the bottom. That'd be a real glass half empty looking kind of thing right there. I spent just over an hour in traffic on my way to work. Only then I looked down. That's some truly next level rushing that you've done there. That's like, this is the more realistic equivalent of the dream where you end up at school in your underwear and then you realize, ah oh, shoot, I'm in my underwear. Everyone's gonna make fun of me, but it's too late, I'm already here. There's nothing I can do. So I'm sure people just thought you were being eccentric. It's a conversation starter. You'll have a more interesting day by doing that. In fact, after this, depending how your day went, maybe you'll do this more often. Walking to my first job this morning with a fresh cup of coffee. That's not cream. It's crow shorts. Hole in one. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh my God. I can't, I... Would you know, oh, would you realize before, would you get, would you like, get it up to your mouth and, and second guess it? Or would you be like, oh, it must have been some of the milk that was in there spilled as I was walking. And then you like, would it, oh man, I've never gotten close enough to bird crap to smell it. I hope you would smell it before you get in there and you're like, <sighs> take off the lid and there's just white floating on the top. I don't know if I'd ever realize. God, I hope I would realize. The odds of this happen, this is some never tell me the odd stuff right here. Well, there's a water snake living in my toilet somehow. <laughs> Alrighty then. That's just, that's just like a real awkward stare. I think the water snake doesn't, doesn't exactly realize why this is weird. Why is this large thing staring at me, man? It's just my home now, okay? Been living here for a few days. Nobody else lives here. Seemed pretty unoccupied. I thought I was okay, but now this giant thing just keeps looking at me when I exit my home. And it's really awkward. You, this really changes the meaning of a pipe snake. You pipe snake it and then just demonetize it that way? Because you can never sit on your toilet. You can never, what if it just, even if you're not sitting on it, even if you're standing going to the bathroom, do you pee? Do you establish dominance? You just, you just pee in the toilet bowl? <laughs> Don't flush 
and you just make its life really miserable? No, but then it probably comes into your house. Oh God, no, dude. We waited the entire summer to harvest potatoes, and this is all my garden produced. Wow, that's a little nugget of a potato right there, dude. What you should do is you should just put like all your effort in order to make that tiny little potato the greatest bite of potato that anyone has ever had in their life. Just focus so hard on like the perfect seasoning recipe. You bake it for the exact right amount of time, which is probably less than you think because it's so tiny. And you just enjoy that as the peak potato bite you will ever experience in your entire life. Someone came in and ordered 46 sandwich combos at 1.45 a.m. We close at two. You know, I'm gonna be honest. Couple times in my life, it's been 1.45 a.m. And I've been like, you know what sounds good right now? Absolutely super unhealthy food. It happens. I honestly can see it from both sides. On one, on one hand, you probably have people who were very drunk, who were hopefully being responsible about it, being like, this sounds great. And then on the other hand, you have people who are like, I'd rather not be making 46 sandwiches when we're 15 minutes to closing, but that's our restaurant policy that as long as the order is placed before we close, I guess we have to do it. So I hope this all worked out for everybody though. You got a good tip or something. I guess plumbing isn't for everyone, but it is for snakes. Snakes love plumbing. That's, that's just crappy design right there. How, how do you, were these the plans? Cause I'm gonna be honest with you. If these were the plans for the house, I can see where your problem came from. That looks like a five-year-old drew it. And if you have a five-year-old design your house, don't get me wrong, I'm sure there's some smart five-year-olds out there, but we probably shouldn't be tasking them with building homes. So it's just, <laughs> this goes a little bit beyond plumbing. This just goes to like common sense. Girl gets her phone stuck in phone jail for two days by accident. My dad got a phone jail for his birthday. What is a phone jail? My brother put my sister's phone in there as a joke and she didn't realize that by scrolling, she was increasing time. What is a phone jail? Is this something to like get you off of social media? It's if you don't have the restraint to stay off of social media. This is the human embodiment of the crying, laughing emoji. <laughs> Harry Potter fans queue for hours to see the Hogwarts Express only for a commuter train to block the view. Wait, is there like, is there like an actual Hogwarts Express or something? IRL? Oh, <laughs> it got the short end of the deal on that one. Should have been on the other side of the track. Rip. Was this like a one-time special thing? Like, hey, we've created a, a, a life-size version of the Hogwarts Express. Only one side of the track is gonna get to see it. Look, look at all the people on the other side. They're so stoked. They get this up close and personal view. Everybody who chose this side is like, great, great. It was looking crowded over there, so we chose this one. Now I know why everyone chose that side, huh? Nice. All right. God dang it. And the top for the last month, yearbook photo from my first year as a teacher. See, why don't they just, we have digital cameras these days. You can look at the shot after it's taken. This is the photographer's fault, okay? If they take it while you're blinking, they should be like, ah, you were blinking, let's do another. Need I share my DMV story again, where the lady purposefully made a, like there's a decoy click button. There's take the photo and make camera click buttons on her computer. She chose make camera click button. And I was like, oh, photo must be taken. So I relaxed my face. And then she takes the actual photo a second later. And of course, cause it's the DMV, that was probably the goal. Here though, they hire a photographer. Come on, dude, say something about you were blinking. This frustrates me, frustrates. You don't need to troll your photography subject, okay? Not even people at the DMV deserve to have their photos trolled. Why do you have a fake click button? 
It's okay, there's this real ID thing, and I have to go get one, so maybe I'll get to retake a photo then for it before, I think it's October 2021, so I have a year. I don't like going into the DMV, but maybe the next person won't fake me out with a fake click. How could you? Sorry this happened to you. I know the struggle. I really do. Thanks for watching this last month of Well That Sucks. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Make sure to like. If you like, check out the playlist in the description. If you want to catch more from this particular subreddit, subscribe. Hit the bell even if you are subscribed. And if you want to watch the last Well That Sucks video, check it out. Right, right here. We'll, we'll have a little link thing, a little clicky, clickamadoodle that you can click on, and it's great. Check it out. See you there.